Welcome back. Brand new evidence this morning that our nation has become more entitled than ever before. A new report revealing the number of Americans relying on food stamps is at an all-time high because people with higher salaries are now able to apply to this program. Today, 47 percent, today 47 million people collect food stamps from the government. That's a 70 percent spike since President Obama took office. So are the rules actually encouraging people to become more dependent on the government? Joining us now to explain is David Webb, co-founder of Tea Party 365 and host of The Webb Show on Sirius XM. David, let me ask you this. First of all, food stamps don't go primarily to African Americans. A majority of them are white people. Yeah, we're let's, bigger. We're a white country, Right. Basically. Let's get that away. It's not a racial thing. And the other thing is people do need food stamps. Right. Some people do need them in order to eat and survive. But it seems like the rules are now easier to get food stamps. Why is that happening and what effect is that having? Let's go to a belief system on the left. The belief system is that government should be the arbiter, the deliverer of your needs. So what do you do? You lower the bar for participation and think of programs out there. Pigford, USDA farmers that were really harmed, lower the bar. Suddenly you have tens of thousands more claiming attempted to farm. Spanish farmers settlements. All the programs, SNAP, S-CHIP, all of them, the bar has been lowered and the Obama administration did even more to open up the rules and a pox on all states that went along with this, Republican or Democrat controlled, because they're looking at the government dull to bolster what they failed to do fix their economies. You know, Bill Clinton once said, we want to give people a helping hand, not a handout. Has the Obama administration gone far afield of what the Clinton administration tried to do, which was not make it an entitlement nation where you could claw your way out of poverty, not claw your way, but you could climb out of poverty with a helping hand, get back on your feet and move out of that to a job, be able to feed your family and do it on your own? Look at the Clinton welfare reform and what happened. Poverty rates went down in all communities. We began to bend that curve. And in fact, when you save these programs by cleaning up the waste and fraud and you raise the bar and you means test it, now you have more to help those that really need it. There are people that need help and we should be able to help them. So you have to combine a couple of things here. The economy has to be got, get better. And the Obama administration, for whatever reason, has hindered that deliberately in some cases or by their actions. Either way, it's the same. So if you don't do that, give people jobs to work their way out, then how do you really help people? Where's the backbone, though, from Republicans on this? I don't hear a peep. They've failed. They have failed to go out and tell a basic truth about this. Politicians want to tell you everything's okay. The Democrats promise you equal outcome. The Republicans won't say not everybody will get out of it, but again, saving the program, cleaning it up, getting people out of it by raising the bar to participate, that will allow others who really need help when you need it to get help and work their way out of it. We need to go back to workfare. Welfare reform was a great thing. It was an idea that was pushed by the Republicans. Dick Morris worked very hard and Clinton said, yes, I'll sign it. But look at what happened in the states individually. Got it. All right, well, it looks like the poverty rate is unchanged, but food stamp use up a lot. We've got to go. Thank you very much, David. Thanks, David.